Hello students, let's do algebra exercise 14a. This is found on page number 150. Question 6. Subtract the first term, this is the first term, from the second. So that means the second term has to come first. So 6ba minus 4ab. Now these are like terms. We have b and a. Even in the other side, we have a B and an A. So these are like terms. So let's take only the numbers 6 minus 4 A B. 6 minus 4 is 2. So the answer is 2 A B. Next one 4.8 B and 6.8 B. So subtract the first one from the second. So we write the second term first 6.8 B minus 4.8 B. Now write only the numbers 6.8 minus 4.8 B. Now let's work out this 6.8 and 4.8. Let's subtract 6.8 minus 4.8. 8 minus 8 is 0. Point 0.6 minus 4 is 2. So we have got 2.0 B or simply 2 B. The next one, 3.5 ABC and 10.5 ABC. So this is the second term. This has to come first. 10.5 ABC minus 3.5 ABC. So that will be 10.5 minus 3.5 ABC. Let's do the subtraction. So we have 10.5 and we have 3.5. We need to subtract. 5 minus 5 is 0. Put the point. Now borrow. 10 minus 3 is 7. So here we have 7 ABC. 7.0 or simply 7 ABC. Question 4. 3 1 by 2 MN and 8 1 by 2 NM. Both are the same. They are like terms though the digits, the letters are interchanged. They still have 1 M and 1 N. So we need to write this term first. Okay. So let's write that. 8 1 by 2 N M minus 3 1 by 2 M N. Okay. So we'll put them in brackets. Only the numbers. Let's convert. 2 A's are 16 plus 1. 17 by 2 minus 2 3s are 6 plus 1, 7 by 2 m n. Now this we can subtract because they are like fractions. We don't have to find the LCM separately. The LCM is 2 itself. 17 minus 7 m n which is equal to 17 minus 7 is 10 by 2 m n. And this also we can cancel by 2. 2 1s are 2, 2 5s are 10. So what do we get? 5 by 1 mn or simply 5 mn. Next question. Simplify. This is question 7. Simplify. Now here let's take the like terms together. Let's look out for the like terms. 2 a square b square and 8a square b square. Can you see there are 2a's and 2b's in this and 2a's and 2b's there. So they are the like terms. So let's group them together. 2a square b square plus 8a square b square. Okay. Plus let's take the other like terms. We have a b square here and minus 3a b square there. So let's put those together. So plus 5ab square minus 3ab square. Okay, so let's add it up. Only the numbers 2 plus 8 a square b square plus plus 5 minus 3ab square. So this will give us 2 plus 8 is 10a square b square. Then there plus 5 minus 3 is 2ab square. 
Now, a square b square that's given here and a b square, we cannot add it up because they are unlike terms. So this is my answer. Next question, 4a plus 3b minus 2a minus b. So here also we have different like terms. So 4a and minus 2a will make one. 3b and minus b will make another group. So let's write it down. 4a minus 2a plus 3b minus 1b. b by itself means 1. So this will be equal to 4 minus 2a plus 3 minus 1b. So 4 minus 2 is 2a plus 3 minus 1 is 2. So 2a plus 2b, this is my answer. Third one, 2xy plus 4yz plus 5xy plus 3yz minus 6xy. So we have xy, xy and xy forming one set of like terms. So let's put them into one group. So that will be 2xy plus 5xy minus 6xy. So this is one group of like terms plus let's take the other one. Here we have yz and yz. So let's do that. Plus 4yz plus 3yz. Okay. Now let's do that. Only the numbers 2 plus 5 minus 6xy plus 4 plus 3yz. Now this, let's see what it's equal to. Let's add up 2 plus 5. 2 plus 5 is 7. 7 minus 6 is 1. 1 xy plus 4 plus 3 is 7. 7 yz. So we have our answer here. 1 xy plus 7 yz. So that is our answer. Now question 4. A, B plus 15 A, B minus 11 A, B minus 2 A, B. They're all like terms. So we can put them all together. Now I can write only the numbers. 1 plus 15 minus 11 minus 2. The whole thing is A, B. Now let's add the numbers with the same sign. So this is plus. So I can add plus 1 and plus 15. What do I get? 15 plus 1 is 16. So plus 16. Let's go to the minus signs. Minus 11 and minus 2. When signs are the same, we put the same sign and we add 11 plus 2 is 13. 13 A B. Now let's see. Signs are different here, isn't it? Plus and minus. Now when signs are different, we put the sign of the bigger number and we subtract. 16 minus 13 is 3 a b so this is our answer plus 3 a b or simply 3 a b now the next question 6 a square then again we have b square so let's pick out only the a squares 6 a square 2 a square and minus 4 a square so let's put them into one group like this and now let's look out for b square we have minus 3 b square and plus 5 B square. Let's put them into another group. Minus 3 B square plus 5 B square. Okay. Then we take only the numbers 6 plus 2 minus 4. The whole thing is A square plus only the numbers minus 3 plus 5 B square. So let's solve this. 6 plus 2. 6 plus 2 is 8. 8 minus 4 is 4. So 4a square and on the other side, signs are different. We have minus and plus. When signs are different, put the sign of the bigger number. That will be plus and subtract 5 minus 3. That's 2b square. So here we've got our answer as 4a square plus 2b square. This is our final answer. Going on to the sixth one, here we have again like terms. ABC and ABC. Let's put them together. So that becomes 8ABC minus 4ABC. Only these we can write it together. 
Then let's go on to the next one, AB and AB. So let's write that 2AB plus 1, 1AB. One now let's write only the numbers 8 minus 4ABC plus 2 plus 1AB. So that will be 8 minus 4 is 4ABC. And here 2 plus 1 is 3 plus 3AB. So what is my final answer? 4ABC plus 3AB. Question 7. So we have 9XYZ, 15YXZ, they are the same as XYZ, minus 10ZYX, again it's the same, and the last one ZXY. So they're all XYZ because they have one of each. So they're all like terms. So let's put them together. So 9XYZ plus 15YXZ minus 10 zyx minus 2 zxy so i've just written the question down now i'm going to write only the numbers 9 plus 15 minus 10 minus 2 all that is x y and z now here let's add up the numbers that have the same sign so this is plus 9 plus 15 is 24 24 now here we have minus 10 and minus 2. So when signs are the same, put the same sign and add 10 plus 2 is 12. X, Y, Z. Now 24 minus 12. Let's see that. 24 minus 12. 4 minus 2 is 2. 2 minus 1 is 1. So that is 12. X, Y, Z. So this is my answer for question 8. 12 x y z next one we have 13 pqr then we have p and q and again pqr and again pqr so those we can put it together so 13 pqr minus 6 pqr plus 5 pqr then we have plus 2 p plus 4 Q. They are separate by themselves because they are unlike terms. We can't put them together. Now here, let's get only the numbers. 13 minus 6 plus 5 PQR plus 2P plus 4Q. Now let's add up the numbers with the same sign. So plus 13 and plus 5 we need to add up. So when signs are the same, we put the same sign and we add. 13 plus 5 is 18, then minus 6 PQR plus 2P plus 4Q. Now 18 minus 6 when signs are different, put the sign the bigger number and subtract. Now 18 minus 6, let's do 8 minus 6 is 2 and 1, so that is 12. So plus 12 PQR plus 2p plus 4q so this is my answer now ninth one 4ab plus 0 minus 2ba so we have like terms we can leave out the zero so we have 4ab minus 2ba these are like terms because there's one a one b in both so let's take only the numbers 4 minus 2ab 4 minus 2 is 2, so that is 2ab. Then 10, 6x square y and plus 5x square y. They are like terms. So let's put them together. 6x square y plus 5x square y. Now the other two are like terms again. So let's put them together. Minus 2xy square minus 1 x y square so let's take only the numbers 6 plus 5 x square y plus minus 2 minus 1 x y square now 6 plus 5 is 11 x square y plus 
Now here minus 2 minus 1. When signs are the same, put the same sign and add. So that will be minus 3 xy square. Now I'm going to open the bracket. So I'll have 11 x square y. If I have plus before a bracket, I can write what's inside the bracket in the same way. So minus 3 will be minus 3 without any change. Now let's write x y square. So my final answer is 11 x square y minus 3 x y square. So with that children, we come to the end of this exercise. Thank you children.